Hi guys, welcome to the Broke Brown Gal. Today's episode is going to be dedicated to jewelry and not just any jewelry, but da 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 da, Cartier. So if you guys are as excited as I am to find out what's inside this bag, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And with that out of the way, let's go. time to start the unboxing before i get to that uh let me just tell you guys that this is my very first unboxing video be it for bags or jewelry and the reason for that is that usually i do not get my jewelry or my bags gift wrapped and that is because number one i think it's wasteful i'm just going to tear that wrapping paper off and then i'm never going to use it again also because i don't have a lot of storage space so not with jewelry but with uh, handbags the gift boxes that they come in are usually pretty big and i don't have space to put them away which is why i normally do not get my stuff gift wrapped the reason that this was an exception was because this item actually needed to be altered and because i could not get it altered that particular day that we were in the cartier boutique because there was a long line for alterations um, my essay was like, you know, you're not gonna wear it right away So why don't you just get it gift wrapped and then you can enjoy the experience of unwrapping the Cartier uh, You know gift box and I was like, okay, that's fine. Usually with me every time I buy jewelry fine jewelry I'm so excited that I just put it on right away the moment I pay for it I put it on be it a ring earrings necklace I just put it on right away on the store the moment I'm done paying for it so that is why I've never done an unboxing or never thought of having my stuff gift wrapped and mostly with me I prefer to choose my own gifts so every time my husband has to buy me a gift he usually just takes me along with him and I can pick what I want and then you know just put it on right away because there's really no element of surprise here because I picked it up myself okay enough backstory let's get right down to the unboxing so here I am undoing the monogram ribbon and you can see the lovely pleats and the thick gorgeous wrapping paper in ua cartier gift wrapping comes with a ribbon not with the wax seal that you see in so many other videos here is that amazing red box with the cartier monogram and the actual jewelry box which holds on a little velvet cushion my wonderful cartier love necklace I hope you guys enjoyed that. I most certainly did. I'm going to be putting the necklace on in just a little bit, but before I do, I want to show you guys what it looks like up close. So take a look. This is a close-up look at the necklace. You can see the pendant is two intertwining circles with the Cartier Love logo inscribed on each circle all the way around. And the closure is a lobster claw clasp. And here's another look. There we go. Beautiful. I'm back. I put the necklace on so you guys can see how it looks on me. One thing I have to tell you guys is that this is not the original length of the necklace. This necklace is actually, I believe, um, 18, 18 inches. And I got it altered to 16 because I usually don't like wearing my necklaces super low. I like to wear it close to my neck. This is the ideal, ideal place for my necklace, but my essay and I both, you know, agreed that for this particular design, because it is kind of a bigger pendant, um, it would look better over here when it's layered with my existing necklace. If you, if it's usually for smaller pendants, you can wear them right in, you know the little nook in your uh in your neck but for a little bit bigger pendants she did recommend to have it a little bit lower if you are considering getting your cartier piece altered the first time is complimentary after that they will charge you and the charge depends on the complexity of the alteration so do make sure that you you know talk to your essay about that and she will best advise you in terms of your alteration options all right so now let's move on to what all comes in your cartier bag First of all, it's your fabulous item that is going to either be wrapped in this amazingly elegant gift wrap and based on where you are in the world, you will get either the Cartier embossed uh, wax seal or if you are in UA, you will get the embossed ribbon with your gift wrap. You also will get this amazing travel pouch, storage pouch, which you can use to keep your jewelry safe and protected when you're not using it. This is the one that came with my necklace. 
So it opens up like this. You have the Cartier logo here, and then inside you have this little padded piece um, with these two tabs where you can hang your necklace. Like you put your necklace uh, here, and then you click it in place on both sides to protect your necklace when it's not in use. One word about these is that depending on which store you go from, you might or you might not get these. So don't assume that if you're buying something from Cartier, this will automatically be included. I've bought several pieces from Cartier and two of the pieces that I bought, they did not include the travel pouch and I had to ask specifically for that. And then I had to go back to the store on a second trip and pick it up because they were out of it at the store at that time. So make sure that when you go to the Cartier store, you do ask for them to put in a travel pouch. Then of course you have your invoice and your invoice is basically a document which states the price that you paid for Cartier. It has your uh, client information, your name, your address, your telephone number. It has the name of the essay that assisted you. It has your boutique name where you purchased it from. It comes in this amazing Cartier stationery. Super gorgeous, thick, elegant. Look at that. It has their little embossed logos over here. You guys can see that. There we go. And this is the receipt. On the back of the receipt are the terms and conditions pertaining to any exchanges or returns you might want to make. You have 30 days from the date of purchase to return your items or exchange them. You're only allowed to return and exchange them once in 30 days, actually just once. And they have to be in resellable condition, meaning they cannot uh, have any scratches or dents in them. And you also uh, have to bring in all of your paperwork. So you have to bring in your invoice, which is this piece of paper here. And you also have to bring in the next most important document, which is your certificate of authenticity, which is this one. And this is basically a card from Cartier, which states that this is an authentic Cartier piece. It has your, your individual serial number. It also has the date on which you purchased the item. At the bottom is the stamp from the store where you purchased Cartier and on the top it just states that this is an uh, authentic Cartier piece in either Asian carrot gold or platinum. This is a very important document given the amount of fakes that are around and the master copies of Cartier. actually came across one on Facebook and uh, it's they've even copied the screwdriver like seriously and at the bottom it says master copy 100% uh, real 18 karat gold and from what a uh, couple of videos I've seen online, they've even copied the Cartier inscription and some kind of fake serial number that they have stamped on the inside. So just be very vigilant, um, keep your documents with you at all times. Yeah. So again, depending on your particular essay and the availability in your store, your essay might throw in a sample. Mine was really kind enough to throw in a sample of the La Panther perfume. It's a really amazing perfume. It smells like gardenias and it has a little lovely musky undertone actually put some on today so it smells so amazing this is what the sample looks like it's a 1.5 ml sample and this i believe is what the full bottle looks like so i will be getting that for sure once i run out and uh, yeah that pretty much is it of course there's also this obviously this is what the box in which your cartier piece is going to come inside the cardboard box like i showed in the unboxing and if you guys want to see it again here it is. This is the actual um, box that, the jewelry box that your jewelry comes in. You press a little button and boom, there's nothing in here because it's on my neck. <laughs> so yeah, these actually are the ones that take up the biggest room in the closet, honestly. Um, which is why what I like to do is I like to put my jewelry when I'm not wearing it. It's not happening yet. I've been wearing it since I got it. I like to put my jewelry in my travel pouches and I just store them in my closet. So guys, that's all for me. I really hope you enjoyed watching uh, this video. And if it's your first time here, I welcome you. I thank you for taking the time out to watch. I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and join my tiny little YouTube family. If you guys have uh, this Cartier necklace, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, what made you buy it? If you have a different Cartier piece that is your absolute favorite, please do share with me in the comments. I would love to know what piece you guys bought so that I can add it to my wish list. And uh, thank you for watching guys and bye-bye.